seems like some poor blighters have started seeing ghosts. <laughs> ghosts? Ryan tells me it's a side effect of this plasmid business. One poor sod's memory is getting passed on to another through genetic sampling. Leaks. Lunatics. Rebellion. And now, bleeding ghosts. Ain't life in rapture grand. Today, Arcadia was closed off to all but paying customers. The man hires me to build a forest at the bottom of the ocean and then turns a walk in the woods into a luxury. Ryan asked, should a farmer not be able to sell his food? Is a potter not entitled to a profit from his pots? Oh, I started to argue with the man and then I remembered who signed my check. The only thing worse than a hypocrite is an unemployed one. There has been tremendous pressure to regulate this plasmid business. There have been side effects, blindness, insanity, death. But what use is our ideology if it is not tested? The market does not respond like an infant. Shrieking at the first sign of displeasure, the market is patient, and we must be too. Gregory, don't come whining to me about market forces, and don't expect me to punish citizens for showing a little initiative. If you don't like what Fontaine is doing, well, I suggest you find a way to offer a better product. Yes, I know about the lockdown. It's absurd. Just give me a minute. The early Lazarus tests are very promising. If the Rosa Gallica bloom, then by God, I know we're in business. Hurry, the lockdown! Hmm? Oh, all right, I'm leaving. But somebody has to find a way to come back to check on these samples. They're very important. I couldn't believe how much things had changed since I left Dr. Steinman's office. It's like I don't even recognize Rapture no more. I hear they've been rounding up people in Paula Square. I asked Ryan, how could he do such things to innocents? He said, innocents, if they haven't chosen to defend Rapture, they've chosen to side with Atlas and his bandits. So there are no innocents. There are heroes and there are criminals. We came here. Masha started screaming. Mama, Mama, what is that? What is that? I thought she was having some kind of seizure. And then I realized trees, trees. Never saw one before. Thought they were monsters. Oh, Sammy, maybe we never should have come to this place. Isn't there anything in this damn place those pagans won't steal? Paper towels, ink pots, witch hazel, chlorophyll solution, even my back issues of National Geographic. They're feathering their disgusting little shrines with it, I suppose. Sick bastards. What's the point of being a damn genius if the only ones around to appreciate it are a bunch of spliced up morons? I've cracked the vector, or at least I'm 99% certain I have. I just need a bud of Rosa Gallica to confirm my analysis. Distilled water, a bit of chlorophyll, and enzymes extracted from Apis mellifera. That's right, sweetheart. Honeybee spit. I've been killing trees for 25 years. At Berkeley back in the 20s, on the Japs at Iwo Jima but I never brought one back from the grave before. I did, Becky. Mama's gonna build her first damn franken tree. I'm gonna call my little creation the Lazarus Vector. Maybe it'll bring the old gal's career back from the dead as well. Who says you can't teach an old how new tricks? This batty plant Four years coming up with ways to defoliate trees in the Pacific to scare out the Japs. And now here I am, down at the bottom of the Atlantic, trying to figure out how to do the same thing in reverse. Adam, Adam, Adam. It's bathtub gin times the atom bomb times Eve with a serpent. Let's go see what it can do. 
they dress up in leaves and call themselves the Saturnine? Please. They drink human blood and chant, Harness the flame, harness the mist, and believe they're touched by the ancient god. <laughs> An aging bunch of frat boys tilting back goblets of plasmids and calling it ambrosia. Now, I'm a woman of science, but I'm also a woman who's not afraid of turning a buck or two. Ryan said if I could boost profits in Arcadia, part of the up would ride on my hip. So I get to thinking, we're paying for oxygen when we got photosynthesizing trees. Hell, we can even sell the extra to the rest of the city and undercut the other guys. Ryan will like that for sure. Fontaine's people have moved into the O2 biz tooth and claw. What makes something like me? I look at genes all day long, and never do I see the blueprint of sin. I could blame the Germans, but in truth, I did not find tormentors in the prison camp, but kindred spirits. These children I brutalized have awoken something inside that for most is beautiful and natural, but in me is an abomination. My maternal instinct. Julie, my dear, I am trying to run a business here. You want to spend time with my honeybees? Well, I'm going to have to start charging you for the pleasure. If I come out one more time and find you lolling out there amongst my hives, I'm grabbing my shotgun. As to your question, yes, my days in beekeeping school are a blur. But I do seem to remember something about that enzyme you keep blabbing on about. The children, with their very long needles, their tuneless songs, their ghastly errands, their ghoulish Frankenstein fathers. But we've all placed our hand on the great chain of endeavor. My hand is on it. Fontaine's is on it. We all pull it and are pulled by it. Yes, these children are an abomination, but it is not my hand alone on the chain that created them. No, their little fingers were right there next to mine. In 10 years in this dump, I've come to accept a very low standard of life. But even at the bottom of this fish tank, a man must have standards. The pathetic Trudeci down at Morley Winery has started putting water to his terrible wine. Water! When I confront him with this fatty, he tells me, Pierre, this is not to worry. The, the water, she is distilled. It could be worse. I could take it right from the ocean. Dr. Su Chong, frankly, I'm shocked by your proposal. If we were to modify the structure of our commercial plasmid line as you propose, to have them make the user vulnerable to mental suggestion through pheromones, would we not be able to effectively control the actions of the citizens of Rapture? Free will is the cornerstone of this city. The thought of sacrificing it is abhorrent. However, we are indeed in a time of war. If Atlas and his bandits have their way, will they not turn us into slaves? And what will become a free will then? Desperate times call for desperate measures. The children must remain functional to be effective producers of Atom. I had hoped we place them into vegetative states so they would be more pliable. I find being around them very uncomfortable. Even with those things implanted in their bellies, they are still children. They play and sing. Sometimes they look at me and they don't stop. Sometimes they smile. <laughs> Adam acts like a benign cancer destroying native cells and replacing them with unstable stem versions. And while this very instability is what gives it its amazing properties, it is also what causes the cosmetic and mental damage. You need more and more atom just to keep back the tide. 
From a medical standpoint, this is catastrophic. From a business standpoint, well, Fontaine sees the possibilities. I believe in no god, no invisible man in the sky. But there is something more powerful than each of us, a combination of our efforts, a great chain of industry that unites us. But it is only when we struggle in our own interest that the chain pulls society in the right direction. The chain is too powerful and too mysterious for any government to guide. Any man who tells you different either has his hand in your pocket or a pistol to your neck. The augmentation procedure is a success. The slugs alone could not provide enough atom for serious work, but combined with the host, now we have something. The slug is embedded in the lining of the host's stomach, and after the host feeds, we induce regurgitation. And then we have 20, 30 times yield of usable atom. The problem now is the shortage of hosts. Fontaine says patience, Thunderbolt. Soon, the first home for little sisters will open. And that problem will be solved. What a night I got lined up. Everything's ready. Flowers, bottle of wine, even two tickets to the tea garden. Nothing gets the Bettys in the mood like nighttime in Arcadia. Now I just gotta stop by the thrifty care to pick up a med hypo, just to be safe. Word is, this ain't Angelina's first visit to the tea garden. One of the children came and sat in my lap. I push her off, I shout, get away from me! I can see the Adam oozing out of the corner of her mouth, is thick and green. Her filthy hair hanging in her face, dirty clothes, and that dead glow in her eye. I feel hatred like I never felt before in my chest, bitter, burning fury. I can barely breathe. And suddenly I know it is not this child I hate. <laughs> 